you know, when I first started SinfulCellulite.com, one of my favorite sites to go to was Dread Central. Because, you know, they covered, obviously they covered the big Hollywood movies, they covered the independent films, and they were just, they were so open and so approachable. And it just reeled me in from the beginning, and I still go there every morning. Um, I can't see the horror community without Dread Central. I've been heavily involved in it since I've been in high school. I've been to all the conventions, East Coast, West Coast, and Dread Central has always been a fixture there because we need someone to represent the independent films and artists. So a world without Dread Central would really, really suck. And then one of the things about it is it's, I know it's cliche to say, oh, it's, it's a family, but it's, it's one of those things where when I go and do shows or we go to different events, you know, I'm there with Uncle Creepy, I'm there with John Condit, and it's just, we hang out together and it's got that feeling of, oh, these are people who I've grown up with. And it just, I would miss that. And I know a lot of other people out there feel the same way. Yeah, I would definitely miss that. That's been a fixture in my experience as someone that is a horror movie fan and someone that contributes to the community. So I think we'd be losing something huge here. So I think, you know, everybody out there who feels that way, you know, you want to support the horror movies that you love without that corporate influence. You want to support the independent films that you love. Just, you know, for $1 a month, you know, it's $12 for the year. Just get out there and, and support Gen Dread Central so that they can keep on creating content and bring you stuff that's unfiltered and honest and about a genre that you love as much as we do. Yeah, so we need to make an effort to save Dread Central. <laughs>